Hey, Derm, you know these kids. Yeah. Somehow, Rich, now Jacob Hopper has confirmed that he too, like Tim Taranto, well, Taranto hasn't come quite come out and declared it yet, but it looks like Taranto and Hopper are now very much uh, on Richmond's radar. Hopper's come out and said he wants to go to Richmond. Uh, Geelong seemed to be the other guy. Um, now, they've got to make it happen, clearly. That's that's the challenge for Richmond. But if Richmond do manage to find a way, what are they getting? What are they immediately getting 2023 and beyond with these two young footballers coming into their into their club? Well, they're both seriously very, very good players. And we, we every blind Freddy could see that. They're both really good players. Um they both play the same position, but they play it slightly differently. Um, Taranto is quite the bullocking type player who slams the ball onto the boot, gets forward, can run the lines, but isn't quick. The one thing with Timmy Taranto is that when he was younger, in under 18s, what he was was a like a 50-50 mid uh, midfielder slash forward. But he was a regular goal kicker as a um, uh, 50% forward. I thought that would come out in his game by now at AFL level, but it hasn't. He, he's shown that he can kick the odd goal here or there. What Hopper gives you, he's not the goal kicker, uh, but he has... And this is not to sell down Kim Taranto, because Kim Taranto, for all his good uh, traits, doesn't have... He's not good, but he doesn't have excellent ball handling. His security of the ball in hand is not as good as Hopper's. Hopper's clean. Hopper's seriously clean, but he doesn't run the lines. He'll run to the next stoppage. And what he can do is be clean with his hands and he's got a good slice of hand, (laughs) sidestep at the stoppage, Mm. and he can make the ball exit to his team's advantage. He's not scared to take punishment when he's got the ball, and that's where, that comes about once again. He's he's prepared to hang on to it and sidestep and sell a dummy, so he will take punishment for the team. So he's more your in and under, can exit, make the ball exit. He doesn't sprint away like a Chris Judd or anything like that to, to, put, to show you the ultimate uh, exit of traffic player. And, yeah, Taranto's one who does that, but he bullocks his way through rather than use a sidestep strategy. If they can acquire both of those two players and they keep, you know, more or less everything else they've got, and let's say Martin, you know, redoubles his commitment to the game and sees out the two years and and he gets back to being a bit closer to the Dusty that, you know, we saw uh, in, in his last game... Do they go automatically back onto the front line next year as a premiership contender? Do they, do they be, automatically become one of the two or three teams to beat for the premiership? Bloody deep midfield, isn't yeah, it? When you, yeah. you consider that Shea Bolton is going to be running through there as well. Presty is not done with yet. Cotchin going uh, for another but, year. But this is yeah, but this is this is looking for life after Cotchin and life after Prestia. So this is one for the future that they're setting up. You can't play them all in there at once, but uh, they are good players. Now, I heard Trout on earlier. Oh, that's how long I've been in the car listening. There's a reason, Trout, why. There's two reasons why Richmond uh, are a chance to get these two boys, and there's the re- two reasons why the Giants are letting them go of their accord, and that is they need salary cap pressure, And the second part of that is because they believe Tom Green is their man that does what these two boys do, except much better than the both of them. Mm -hmm. And they will not let... And and I've seen these these rumours about, oh, we're going to get Tom Green next year. (laughs) No one getting Tom Green. If Tom Green exits the GWS club, he'll have to stand out a year of football to get there. He's not going anywhere. They view him as a future captain. He's not going right, anywhere. Okay. Get that through your head. You can have you can have pie in the sky <laughs> dreams if you want. They love him, and they're not letting him go anywhere. And they reckon, yeah, we can let these two lads go as good as they are because Tom Green is better. It's going to be fascinating to see what Richmond have to pony up to. Um, get the deals done. So, so we'll wait and see how that all plays yeah. out.